can you give some of the beliefs and practices of the present day Jews and Christians according to the Bible? Okay. The question is, actually I have, I have, I have not gone through much of the Bible, but I can just give you a few references of the Bible of the present day Jews. You know, present day Jews reading the Bible, in the Bible there are certain portions where the Jews are practicing and the Christians are practicing as mentioned in the Bible. Because I was reading about the Quran and in the eyes of the Quran we were, I was explaining the beliefs of the lenient and the Nasara people or the helpers people within the Quran. Your question is what the Bible has to say about these people. So I will give you a few, few doctrines or few beliefs from the Bible. And you'll be surprised to hear them, all of you. Everybody in the hall will be surprised to hear the belief of the biblical, biblical beliefs of the Jews and the Christians. Because the Bible as such, I hold, this is the Bible. This Bible contains Old Testament and New Testament. The Old Testament is only Jews believe. The Old and New both is believed by the Christians. Okay? So in the Old Testament, if I quote from the Old Testament, that's the belief of a Christian and Jews. But in the New Testament, if I quote, it's the only belief of a Christian, not the Jews. I will not give the details of, I'm not going to just rehearse the Bible, biblical verses. I'm just giving you the points to note down the references. Leviticus 19 and verse 27. This is the belief of the Jews and the Christian. And it is said in this, I'm giving you in my own words, you can check up in the Bible when you go home. It says, do not, the men should not cut their hairs. You know this big hairs. Have you seen big hairs? They should not cut the hairs the, and the size of the beard. Men should grow big beards. They can't cut the hairs of the beards and not even big hairs. Like, you know, sick. This is the order in the Bible. Do not cut the hair at the size of your head and the clips of the edges of the beard. Big, big hair, big beards. This is a belief of the Jews. Jews. We are not talking about Quranic Hadu. Now we are talking about the Jews, present day Jews and the Christian living in Israel. Okay. Then further in Exodus, write down these are Exodus 26, verse 6 and 9. It says, putting a turban on the head. Always wear a head turban on the head. Pagadi. Who is the belief of? Jews. Present day Jews living in Jerusalem. It's the order in the Bible that you must wear a turban. It's in Exodus 26, 6, 9. Are you listening brothers? Genesis 24, 65. All women should wear head covers. Head covers, you understand? Head cover? Head cover. They should cannot show their hairs on the head. Because men are wearing turbans and women should also cover their heads. 1 Corinthians 11, 15. Long hairs, you know men also long hairs, women also long hairs, is a beauty and serve as a covering. Women should have long hairs, you know, big, big hairs. Like men also big hairs, they can't cut big beards. And women can't also cut their hairs. This is a covering there of their body. You know, so Genesis 28, verse 20, 20 to 22, you can read it in detail in your houses. You see, it says, Jacob is about the Jacob. He wants something according to his willful desire. So he vows and makes a mannat to God Almighty, if you are going to do this God, and if I am going to get the benefit from there, I will give you 10%. But you must do what I want God. If you will not do, I will not do anything. Mannat. Wow. It's mentioned in Genesis 28, 22, 20, 22, 22. And Genesis 22 and 9 and 10 and 12, 13, Abraham was asked to slaughter the son Isaac. He was asked, God Almighty asked Abraham to slaughter the son Isaac physically. And as he took the knife and want to slaughter his son Isaac, a goat came, a lamb. And God said, no, 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 don't slaughter your son. I have seen you are a very 
you know you can for, for the love of me you can slaughter your son nonsense believe me Allah said do not kill your children that's an order of God in the Quran he will ask Abraham to slaughter his son the most nonsensical idea and now he stopped and God said now you can slaughter this goat instead of your son that's in the Bible Leviticus 7 2 if you have something do do something do wrong if something any person does wrong he wants to take over the guilt how will he do slaughter a black goat guilt offering which is most holy animal should be slaughtered Satka. Deuteronomy 15 21 says defective animals Allah doesn't like it defective animals should not be sacrificed for the Lord it should be a very nice healthy look at the tongue teeth tail color ears check everything defective animals God doesn't like it's in the Bible whenever you want to slaughter animal it should be fit no defective animal God doesn't like it because he, otherwise your satka charity will not be accepted for God your, your guilt will remain there so you must hire a good healthy Deuteronomy 6 and 8 she asked this belief of a Jew a Christian from the Bible you know I am not able to do the whole but I am giving few few little you read you will find many Deuteronomy 6 and 8 and they have done it very nicely all over the world they have traveled to the whole world these Jews and Christian and especially Christian and make sure that their beliefs are spread all over the world in every nationality in every culture of the world they have really spent thousand billion dollars to do so in our houses you can find this putting amulets tavis on your hands tavis you have seen tavis amulets tavis on your hands and what do you say Imam Zamin tavis I mean, read only me 6 8 read, go and read it putting amulets on your tavis on your hands on your foreheads putting on your doors on your frames of the house this is the practice of Jews go and listen go and see to the Jews they are doing their houses Genesis 17 10 to 14 God's comment that every male child should be circumcised Abraham's son circumcised his son Isaac after 8 days Jesus Christ was circumcised on the 8th day there is no commandment in the Quran to circumcise the male child Wa asana taqweem mankind Allah made on asana beautiful taqweem but these Jews make sure you know there is a narration that this is gospel of Barnabas one of these gospel writings you know and in that gospel of Barnabas they say Abraham took an axe you know axe have you seen this axe Kulhari and went there and broke all the idols of the non-Muslim does with the axe like this breaking the other and the big idol Baal he left, left it this narration is the belief of Jews and Jews. Christians now Leviticus is from the Old Testament if anyone takes a life of a human being he must be put to death no no Qisas in the Bible you understand Qisas in the Islam Qisas is there if somebody kills by somebody by mistake you give a Qisas to the blood money and your life but if you kill anybody in the Christian world in the Jewish world you must be put to death no Qisas and then stoning to death to adultery men and women who commits adultery should be stoned to death Deuteronomy 22 21 23 Deuteronomy 21 18 to 21 if suppose your son if our son is stubborn drunkard or corrupt what he should be done stoned to death you follow what I am saying you have to stone to death to your own son why because he's corrupt he's stubborn so just kill him that's the belief of Jews very good okay 1 Timothy a church leader should have only one wife who believes in having only one wife very good only the Jews believe 
that they should marry only. But the Bible says, you know, amazing thing is the Bible, the Bible, Abraham had three wives. Solomon had 1,000 wives, 700 wives and 300 concubines. David had 99 wives in the Bible. But they say preaching is the church leader has, should have only one wife. So this is the belief of? Okay, good. Write down Ephesians 5, 33 to 22. Every husband must love his wife as himself and wife must submit to their husband as their, as their Lord. The wives, you know women, you, no wonder these Christian women and the Jewish women want liberation from these men. Why these Christian and Jewish women are wanting liberation from men? Because they, the Bible says that every husband must love his wife as himself. Okay, good. And wives must submit to their husband as their Lord. They must submit to the husband as their Lord. Majazi Khuda. Who believes this? Okay, good Jews. Now about holy wars. Holy wars. Deuteronomy 21 to 17. Joshua 8 verse 24. Going to holy wars by putting everyone to the sword. Who believes that, that we should have holy wars and put everybody to sword? The Jews. Okay, now Joshua 11 to, and verse 12. Joshua took all the royal cities and killed their kings. This is a big thing, you know, you should do this. Kill the kings of all the royal cities because we don't, the, the Jews do not believe in kingship. They want that king, there should be no kingship in the world. The Jews do not believe that people should be kings. It is not allowed because Joshua took all the royal cities and killed their kings and, big, and brought democracy. Genesis 50 verse 10. When somebody dies, somebody dies, how much time a person should mourn? The Jews tell us you should mourn for 10 days and 40 days. Chalisma. Dasma, Bhishma. Excuse me, this is Jews' practices. Why are you laughing? I'm not. I'm surprised. This is a biblical belief of Jews and Christians. Genesis 50:10, Genesis 51. Write down. Seven days mourning at the death, mourning the dead for 40 days. In Deuteronomy 20 verse 45, picking the booty, loot of wars. First you attack them, loot them, and bring them to your under your power and Luke 12 you know if you talk I was talking about this mostly this Old Testament this is mostly of Old Testament means that the Jews and the Christian both believe now I'm talking about the New Testament is Luke 12 49 51 when I I told I, I quote this the Jews don't believe this so if you ask a Christian you said listen brother you are talking about Old Testament I don't believe most of the Bible from the Old Testament because this is all believe of Jews I'm, I believe in the Christian. I am a Christian. I believe in New Testament. But they believe in the, both. But they say they believe both. But if you quote the Old Testament, they are more interested in New Testament. So I say, look, look, look what the New Testament is. Jesus said in 12 verse, 12, 12 chapter, Luke 12, 49, 51, he says, Jesus came to set the earth on fire. And how he wished it should be kindled. This is the biblical Quotation of the Jesus Christ, Astaghfirullah. Who kindled the fire? In Quran? In Hagol. Here it says, Jesus came to, to set the earth on fire. And how I wish it should be kindled. This is loving Jesus. You understand? They say Jesus is love as a lamp for sacrifice. They say that. Astaghfirullah. Look, he says, Luke 14 and 26 Jesus said no one can be my disciple unless he loves me more than he loves his father his mother wife and children and himself if you want to be disciple of Jesus according to the Bible you should not love your mother you should not love your father you should not love your wife nobody except Jesus he is in Acts in 111, Jesus will come back from the heavens. Who believes this? It's loudly, Christians. No, Jews, not Jews, sorry. Nasara, Christian, not Nasara, Christian. They believe that Jesus is coming back from the sky, heavens. Mark 13, 25, 20, 
they will say they will see jesus the son of man coming in the cloud with great power and glory he is coming back he is coming back who is coming back ah jesus who believes this who are you sure one question assalam what is the relation between jews what is the relation between jews and bani israel children of israel okay the question is what is the relation between the jews and the children of israel there are two words you can in normally people are believing that this people living in israel first it was palestine this this was palestine and this jews you know jews i am using the word not hadu jews they took over this palestine a political war and they made israel because the bible speaks of israel bible speaks of israel so now they made a country israel and calling themselves israelis israelis people living in israel like pakistan people living in pakistan are pakistanis people living in america are americans people living in israel are israelis so the bible record speaks about israelis israelis and the children of israel house of israel so now the quran also speak about israel like i said the quran speaks of hadu hudu and nasara and the bible also speaks of children of israel or house of israel so now first of all i am going to read from the bible how this word israel came into existence in the bible then we'll see what the quran say in genesis you write down again genesis 32 and verse 25 and 26 you know in in uh, in the bible isaac sorry jacob jacob was the son of isaac and abraham was the father abraham isaac and jacob okay jacob had, had is fighting with god is mentioned genesis 32 25 Can you fight God? Can anybody can fight God? Can you wrestle God? Hello, can you wrestle God? Well, Jacob is doing it. When the man saw that he was not winning the struggle, he struck Jacob on the hip, and it was thrown out of the joint. The man said, "Let me go. The daylight is coming. I won't." unless you bless me jacob answered you know jacob is having a fight apparently is a man apparently is a man in the form of man he is fighting with jacob so he hit jacob and he, his joint was so the man but jacob got hold of this man is god basically let me he said that man said, let me go the daylight is coming so jacob said i won't let you go until you bless me who saying jacob until you bless me i won't let you go so the man said what is your name jacob said my name is jacob then the man said your name will be no longer jacob you have struggled with god you have struggled with god and with men and you have won always mean you have beaten all these guys he is a very wrestler you know this jacob wrestled with men and wrestled with god and won the battles so your name will be israel this is how the israel title is given to jacob where in the bible not in the quran you see this is very surprising this is mentioned in the bible so this is how israel came and from jacob's had sons So, do, so do they become children of Israel? House of Israel. Now you know children of Israel. How? Bani Israel, children of Israel, house of Israel. Huh? Do you know? Okay. Now, what happened? What the Quran said? What the Quran said about Israel? First, we'll see who is Israel. Okay. Then the children of Israel. In one little ayat, you can write down the Quran, Surah Al Asra, seventeen, and two and three. and believe me it's a very small ayat the three ayat which explain this all is sign and children of israel okay but i will read from the from two wa ataina musa al kitab we gave moses the book 
and as a guidance to the children of israel understood difficult to understand is it difficult who are the children of israel next i says children of israel is who are the children of israel children of israel is duriyata man hamalna manu children of israel are the offspring i am very speaking slowly children of israel are the offspring descendants descendants of springs whom we carried in the nose ark people who were sitting in the nose ark nose boat from them the children of israel came children of israel zuriyata man hamalna manu zuriyat means of springs descendants progeny whom we carried in the nose ark so nose ark was containing who believers okay believers but who from them came the children of israel so who are these people on the nose ark israel you understand but in the bible jacob had a fight with god almighty and all these struggle all these got and they got that title israel but in the quran from nose ark from nose ark before abraham peace be upon him ibrahim from nose ark this ark from them came the zuriyat uh, zuriyat man hamalna manu so one little verse explained where the israelis are and who are the israel and who are the children of israel children of israel are the offspring descendants or progenies from the nose ark who were with nu and who were hamalna uh, manu who were with nu sorry with the nose ark who were with nu and his people and they were all believers so this is how the progeny came this is general that is the difference and how hadu hadu is mentioned the quran differently but the jews living in jerusalem they say because the bible they jacob got the title israel so they want to put a land on ground and make israel you understand why they make this because in the bible he struggled with god and jacob got the title israel and now israel is made on the ground just to prove their bible and the people living are israelis basically they are jews they are not israelis basically they are jews you follow what i'm saying but the quran speaks of children of israel are you know where the where the children of israel came from hmm? from noah's ark you got the answer or you not now i want to tell you one more thing ex, ex, explain to you a very nice thing suppose suppose the bani israel is according to them is the isaacs in jacob's jacob's uh, descendants okay is that all right is this suppose label muslim community believe this or not ha huh? if suppose some label community believe this you ask this to them now if you ask them that in the prayer we says allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid oh allah allahumma salli ala ala muhammad oh allah send or give prayers send prayers or pray over muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad and the followers of Muhammad peace be upon him and his followers okay kama sallaita ala ibrahim like you prayed over ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim and over those who are the followers of ibrahim ibrahim had ismail isaac yaqub and yaqub had yaqub title is and children 12 12 tribes 
So they are in Israel. Are you praying on Israel? Ali Ibrahim is Israel? Children of Israel? No, I'm, I'm asking them. I'm asking these guys. Children of Israel, are you saying about Ali Ibrahim? Doesn't come, Isaac is not Ibrahim's son. If suppose he got the title, he is Israeli. So are you praying to these guys, Israelis? Yes. Are you praying to Israelis in Jerusalem? Because we don't believe this. The Quran doesn't say this. The Quran is Duryate Marhamallah Manu. You understand this what I'm saying or you don't? The Israeli title got it, you got it from the Bible. And you say the Ali Ibrahim is basically Israel, but Israel. Why not? Because you say Ibrahim has a son Ismail and Isaac and Yaqub. And Yaqub got the title Israel and his 12 tribes. So you Ali Ibrahim is what? According to your understanding, is Ibrahim's Ali Ibrahim is Bani Israel, children of Israel. So you say Allah Masalli Allah Muhammad Ali Muhammad Kama Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ibrahim Allah Ibrahim and Nakamid. Do you mean this Israeli, this Jacob and Israel, and all these Israel living in Jerusalem? You are doing on to the or to them? We are saying follows Ibrahim. Mention the Quranic ayat: Ismail, Isaac, Yaqub, and Israel. Quranic Israel. Okay. Thank you. Now we will end our lecture. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.